and welcome, everybody. This is your host, Kendi Foster. Today, we are going to celebrate life. You know, it's a good day to be alive on this planet. I want you to feel that. It's a good day. Say it to yourself. It's a good day for me to be alive on this planet. You know, so many times we are in a place of challenges, going through hard times, you know, political discussions or challenges with our family, our friends, maybe with ourselves, with our health, with our with our finances, with all this, you know, all that is part of uh, what makes up this beautiful life. And it's not all struggle or strife or challenges. It really is a place where you have choice. You know, my teacher told me once, he said, but he probably told me t- 20 times, it, you, yeah, nobody can make you unhappy if you choose to be happy and nobody can make you happy if you choose to be unhappy. And that's a quote from Paramahansa Yogananda. So it's a powerful quote that can you live from that place? Can you live from choice? You know, sometimes we get into that place where we forget that we have choice, right? You know, we go into this thing of I have to do this or I should do that or this must be done instead of just saying I'm choosing this. I'm choosing this. I'm choosing. If we don't like our choices, of course, we may want to change those choices. <laughs> I know I've done a lot of that in my lifetime. I bet you have too. You know, this show is all about us getting real, us being able to, when I say us, myself and my guests, being able to upshift you, upshift your thinking, be able to transform that low energy or that vibration that might not be the highest and best place for you to live from into a place where you're feeling a sense of joy, a sense of happiness, a sense of fulfillment in your life on a consistent basis. You know, there was a quote that came to me this morning. i got to read it to you. It was so, um, so powerful. It said that hmm. uh, this also came from Yogananda. You may control a mad elephant. You may shut the mouth of the bear and tiger, ride the lion and play with the cobra. By alchemy, you may learn your livelihood. You may wander through the universe incognito, make vassals of the gods, be ever youthful. You may walk in winter and live in fire, but control of the mind is better and more difficult. Think of that. All right. I want you to think of that. And I want you to replay that a few times because, you know, it, you know the mind is over our what? Our emotions. The emotions are over our actions. Our actions are over our results. Our results are over our destiny. So therefore, there is no destiny. It's choices that you make on a consistent basis. Sure, you may have to come o- overcome some past uh, karma, let's call it, past ways of thinking and choices and actions you made in the past. But you know what? All that can happen today in this moment as you choose to step into your courage, choose to step into a new destiny. That's what the show is about today. I'll be right back. I'm going to take a break, and then we are going to have my very special guest on the show today. Are you ready to transform your life and get what you really want? Hi, this is Ken D. Foster, and over the past 30 years, I've helped thousands of people change the course of their lives by doing one special thing daily. This is the foundation of my latest book, The Courage to Change Everything. It is the ultimate guide to awakening the transformative power within you to get what you want. In this book, I'll teach you exactly how to unlock your hidden potential, break through your limitations, and get what you want, no matter what's happening in the economy or things beyond your control. So why wait? Get your copy of The Courage to Change Everything right now at courage to change.us. That's courage to change.us. There's no risk to you if you're not fully satisfied that this book has supported you in getting what you want, just to return it for a full refund. Are you ready to take charge of your health and well being? UK Health Radio is your ultimate digital destination for cutting edge health information and inspiration. At UK Health Radio, We know that good health is not merely the absence of disease, but a state of complete physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Tune in to our wide range of expert-led shows 
where renowned health professionals share about the latest research, practical tips, and inspiring stories that will motivate you to live your healthiest life. Don't settle for anything less than vibrant health. Tune in to UKHealthRadio.com, the world's number one talk health radio and podcast platform. We have enough information. Just Google it or AI it. What the world needs today is courage and wisdom. The courageous ones have moved us forward. These are the fearless, the ones with determination, the resilient ones. They have grit and rise to meet the challenges and opportunities. They encourage, empower, and enlighten us to all glow up, shift our thinking, and step into our greatness. Yes, these are the ones who have led the way. Now, listen to the courageous ones of today and step into your courage. Well, welcome back, everybody. This is your host, Candy Foster, one more time. I have a very special guest, Karina Marshall. Karina, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ken. I'm really happy to be here, and thank you for inviting me. Well, I'm really happy you're here, too, and I can hardly wait to talk a little bit about this amazing book that you have out. But before we do, I want to introduce you to our guest, Karina is a vibrational transformational coach. I love that. Uh, Passionate about serving others on the deepest level through promoting vibrational living. She's a certified master life coach. Uh, She's a spiritual mentor and a meditation teacher, having practiced Kriya Yoga for decades. Karina believes the world is in transition And a new world needs a new perspective and a new way of thinking. And that's what we're talking about today. All right, Karina, um, vibrational transformational coach. Um, It was Nikolaus Tesla that said, if you want to understand the universe, you have to understand vibration, energy, and uh, uh, what else? Vibration, energy, and something else. Anyway, (laughs) we'll come to me in Vibration, energy, and our role in, in, in making our reality. I love that. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Our, in our role. Uh, frequency was the other word he used. But our role, uh, yeah, as a, as a high-frequency being on the planet. Let's talk about that. How do, we, how do we play that role? I mean, we are in a place where there's a lot of challenges, a lot of suffering, people going through a lot of stuff. I, I Started the uh, the show off a little differently today because a lot of times we address those issues. But how do we up level ourselves? That's a great question, Ken. And um, let me start by uh, talking about um, um, a famous quote by Paramahansa Yogananda. He said that the root cause of all suffering and diseases is really f- ignorance. And um, healing from ignorance, I think, is one of the, uh, the best focus anybody can undertake in our physical life. Uh, and the way to go about that is really realizing who we really are. And we are vibrational beings. Uh, our thoughts, our emotions, and our beliefs uh, carry a vibration. So we have what I call a vibrational manner that reflects to us through our reality, the, it mirrors how we're vibrating. And uh, when our role in the uni- physical universe is um, learning how to vibrate in a way <laughs> that uh, we can potentially create the reality that we want, not only for ourselves, but potentially for the collective um, the collective human beings that we. Oh, I love that, and you know, when we're talking about vibrational, um, every every um, uh, let's say word we we'll use the word uh, you know the words words matter, right? So if we're in a place uh, of love, right? You love we feel in our heart. That's a vibrational energy, right? And so is fear and worry and all that. Those are all vibrational energies. So is bliss and joy and happiness. Those are all frequencies and vibrations. And that's what we're talking about here. 
So if we want to upshift our vibration, how do we do that, Karina? It's really basically a, a very simple technique. It's just a matter of shifting your focus. And um, a lot of times we get carried away by a story. And a lot of times we get carried away by the negative news that we read. And uh, we don't realize that at that very moment that we start feeling a little bit depressed or sad or disappointed about a negative news, we also can shift that attention and focus on something that we potentially appreciate even more or some other things that can distract us from other things that don't feel so good. I love that. You know, I just came back from India. <clears throat> and in India, um, they everywhere you look, it's a reminder of 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 God, right? Mm -hmm. Of the frequency of God. I mean, they have pictures of the of the different uh, aspects of God everywhere. They have uh they, you know, they put little uh uh, they have bangles on themselves to remind themselves of God. They have little strings they put around you to remind yourself of God. It's it's always reminding of those higher. And when we talk of God, we talk about the higher frequencies of love and joy and bliss and and uh, power and passion and you know those those frequencies that are are there. So how do we do that here in the United States? Because we don't have all those reminders, right? <laughs> um, yes, you know um, it. It's, it starts with really training our minds and um, having a foundation uh, that reframes our beliefs. Mm -hmm. uh, we already know that, uh, and um, we know that we are all vibrational beings. Uh, the world is all energy and that we emit those vibrations through our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Um, it's also in, in, important to talk about our connection with our inner beings, some call it soul, some call it higher self. And um, generically, I would just label it as the frequency of love, peace, joy, freedom, because that to me is my definition of the frequency of God, uh, which is present in each one of us. And when we are allowing that frequency or vibration to flow through us, then we are able to look at things a little differently, in fact, profoundly different, and be able to engage what I call a witness consciousness in, in, in certain situations that probably don't feel so good or a reality that we do not want to entangle with. So it's really shifting the focus. And it works. <laughs> and, and it works. You know, here, it, it's interesting. You know, in the recovery movement, it's uh, they have a saying, you know, one day at a time. And I had a lady on my show, uh, what was it, uh, just yesterday, I think it was. And she said sometimes mm -hmm. it's five minutes at a time. Now, this is not the recovery. Mm -hmm. And, and what, what they're talking about is they're talking about what you said earlier, shifting your focus from in the, in the recovery piece to, to wanting to, um, use an alcohol or drug or something to another focus, which their focus is, um, again, they have to shift it to a higher level of vibration or consciousness to be able to stay in a, a recovery situation. Well, I kind of think we're all in recovery, right? We're recovering from the ego. <laughs> and the ego, you know, wants to be right, wants to judge, wants to criticize, wants to protect, wants to do a lot of things. But if we live from that consciousness, what happens is that we start to uh, really shut down that connection with uh, with our higher consciousness, with our higher self? Well, what do you what do you think about that? Absolutely, and I think uh, the way to really connect with that higher consciousness or that part of us that really is in that frequency aligned with the frequency of God or uh, Source or the universe, um, it, the way to do that is really through quieting the mind and. We all know that meditation is really the key to doing that. And, and meditation can take different forms. Some are guided, some are silent, and whatever works for the individual, uh, as long as one is aware that in the process of meditating, uh, one feels the quieting of the mind, uh, then that's a start. And it's a start to then receive vibrations 
that are, you know, the frequency that we love, we enjoy, the frequency of freedom, the frequency of peace, calmness, uh, joy, and um, and it's it just does wonders. So meditation to me is really key. I love that, and you know, I know when I first started meditating, I could sit for maybe five minutes, and um, um, you know, but I found that guided meditations help me to stay longer. I find it uh, found that music, certain types and frequencies of music, would help me yes. to to stay in a longer place. And then eventually, um, I like you learned some techniques um, that those techniques. For me, went from meditating five ten minutes to be able to do an eight hour meditation after I learned the, mm-hmm. uh, the 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 techniques. And I think that a lot of times um, uh, you know, we just don't know those techniques here. You you mentioned in your bio Kriya Yoga. I don't know if you want to say anything about that, but that's one of the techniques to take us into higher realms of consciousness. You want to share anything about that? Uh, yes, uh, it's, it's one of the techniques that were that was taught by Paramahansa Yogananda, and uh, there's an organization that he created in Los Angeles, um, based in Los Angeles, rather, called the Self-Realization Fellowship, and they give lessons on how to do the Kriya Yoga. Um, but there are other forms of meditation as well, uh, and the key is just to be aware that you are quiet in your mind, and in that process, you start receiving, receiving thoughts, receiving feelings that you, you, you can't imagine you're capable of sometimes, but it can be very yes. blissful. Well, it was Leonardo da Vinci, the greatest uh, creator of the Renaissance, that said, stillness is the price of greatness. Then Paramahansa Yogananda wow. said that, uh, excuse me, he said, isolation is the price of greatness. That's what da Vinci said. Uh, Yogananda said, mm. stillness is the price of greatness. And then I asked the, one of the great teachers of our time right now, a man by the name of Dr. Irvin Laszlo, who's been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize twice and written about 106 books. I said, what's the price of greatness? He said, well, <clears throat> living from a consciousness of oneness and knowing oneself. And I believe the two teachers in the beginning were pointing the direction. And now that is that place. What is that place of oneness that we can live from? And who are we really? We're going to answer those questions when we get back. We'll be right back from the break. Whether because of discomfort, lack of mobility, your lifestyle, or occupation, you sit inactively way too many hours a day. Introducing Ellipse, the premium quality automatic seated exerciser that strengthens legs, increases mobility, and boosts circulation without physical strain or impact. It is so quiet that none of my coworkers even know I'm using it. Strengthen and tone your legs, increase your mobility, flexibility, and balance, plus stimulate healthy circulation. My joints feel better, my knees feel better, my back feels better. It makes me feel stronger too. Perfect for home therapy. Whisper quiet to use while you work. My circulation is moving, I'm burning calories, and it makes me feel energetic. Call now and order Ellipse, the seated exerciser that strengthens legs, increases mobility, and boosts circulation. Call and get upgraded to the deluxe bundle. Get the faster motor for five miles of steps per hour, the step counter, the sport mat, and wireless remote. Call now. Imagine this is your money and someone wants to take it from you. Who is it? The IRS. Guess what? They want your money and they can take it, all of it if they want. Remember, they sent you that letter right over here that said, hey, you owe us a bunch of cash and we're going to take it from you right now. So what do you do? You fight back by letting our team of experts work it out with the IRS so you can keep your money. And hey, we're good at what we do. When you hire us, you get a team of guys on your side that know the IRS laws and will fight really hard to save your money. So if you owe the IRS a ton of cash and you want to keep it, call right now and learn for free how we can help you put it back in your pocket. Five minutes of your time right now can save you thousands of dollars. And the best part, it's a free call. So please call right now.
Hi everyone watching at home. We're here to remind you that if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, listen up. We have live agents available right now to answer your questions and tell you how much your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Gina Belich here with spokesman and TV personality Tom Mustin with us in the Help Center. So Tom, phones are really busy over there. Tell us what kind of calls you're seeing. Well, Gina, first off, thank you for having me here in the call center with you. We always enjoy talking to the viewers and getting folks the compensation that they deserve. You know, we're seeing calls about all kinds of accidents, but the most common by far has been car accidents. So if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, give us a call right now. You'll speak with a live person Person. They'll answer any questions you have and tell you if you have a case and how much your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Tom. All right, folks at home, you heard it. Take advantage of this opportunity and call now. Hi, folks. Joe Namath here. Did you know that I wear hearing aids? I love my hearing aids, and I am here to help you get a deal on the same brand I wear. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get MD Hearing's revolutionary Neo hearing aids for just $297 a pair. The Neo is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. And you can get two Neo hearing aids with a 45-day risk-free trial, free shipping, and free lifetime US-based support for only $297. The Neo is nearly invisible with its tiny in-the-ear canal design. Call my friends at MD Hearing and get the over-the-counter hearing aids that I use for you. Call now and get not one, but two Neo hearing aids for just $297. 800-789-7885. Again, that's 800-789-7885. Well, welcome back, everybody. This is your host, Kendi Foster. I'm going to have my guest back on in just a second. I want to remind you to click on our YouTube uh, subscribe button there and subscribe to our show so you don't miss any of those shows. Also, this podcast, like many podcasts, grow by you, the listening audience, right? So if you're getting value out of this, please share it with a family member or friend or somebody you care about so that they can, too, upshift their consciousness. All right, back with my beautiful guest today, Karina Marshall. And Karina, um, you know that piece about knowing who we are. I think uh, in America, we have an identity crisis. We, we think we're our cars, our houses, what we do for a living, um, you know, and, and that's just not true. Um, as you were talking about earlier with these vibrational beings, um, who are we really? <laughs> Um, that is, um, a question each one of us, I think, ask ourselves, uh, at any point in our lives. And, um, I, I remember when I was in my twenties, I thought that, oh, um, life is doing things to me and I'm supposed to react or know the secret of life. Um, and in my thirties, forties, it kind of was the same way, you know, when I had my, my daughter and got married and then got divorced. <laughs> and in my 50s, all of a sudden I'm saying, wait a minute, there's something going on here that's not quite what I thought it was. And, um, and then during the fast forward, um, during the pandemic lockdown about a few, you know, four or five years ago, um, I started to really um, get these messages I feel that it's channeling from my higher self that there's really two of us. There's two, uh, each person has a version that is non-physical and a version that's physical. So Karina is here in the physical world with my five senses, um, just like you are listening to this or viewing this. And, and then there's a Karina also that is simultaneously existing in the non-physical world. What? What do you mean? <laughs> it's hard to get our heads uh, uh, on that because uh, unless we talk about consciousness, then it's a little difficult to understand. However, if you just play around with that concept, there is another version of us that's always trying to merge with our physical selves, and that is the non-physical self and with the frequency of peace love, joy, which is the frequency of source. 
Um, and so who are we? We are actually <laughs> more powerful than what we think. Um, we are, there's a famous quote uh, about we are greater than anything and everything we are seeking. Um, and that in that seeking, we realize we are actually connected to everybody. And at some level, we then realize that we can practice a certain level of oneness while we're living in the physical world. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. Right. Oh, that was beautifully said. And, and that piece of oneness, I'll, I'll uh, expand on that a little bit. So, you know, it, the uh, quantum uh, physicists, the uh, quantum mechanic uh, people, the uh, neuroscientists, the uh, uh, folks that have studied um, uh, the connection of everything on a macro level or a micro level on the different sciences, what they've all found out is everything is connected, right? And they're trying to understand, you know, how a particle can manifest itself in one space and that in another space at the exact same moment, right? You know, it, when you and I grew up, you know, we Albert Einstein told everybody that speed of light was the fastest uh, thing in the universe. Well, that's not true. Okay? Speed of thought is a lot faster than that. And there's something faster than the speed of thought. So it's, it's that connection you're talking to uh, that we're not only connected to one another, to the universe, to the planet, to the stars, to the galaxies, to the cosmos. We're connected to our creator and, and our source of everything. And it's uh, when we start to realize that in our lives, life, it's very simple. I, I just say it in my life. There's magic. Miracles, synchronicity that show up constantly. It's we yeah. we feel like it's almost non-real, which we, it starts to become a dream, which we start to see reality. If if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, definitely, it, it makes sense because then we realize at that point that you're describing, we really can create heaven on earth. And um, it's it's a it's a joyous feeling like you're eager for something you don't even know what it's about, uh, because this connectedness with this frequency of love and 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 uh, and joy and freedom. Uh, what else would anybody want, right? But to integrate that frequency into our everyday lives, that's even more celebratory because then we realize wow, we came into this denser physical environment and we can practice having that frequency and share that uh, share that oneness. With well, athletes talk about it, uh, about being in the zone where everything just seems to uh, oh. flow and you're getting, you get into a space of, um, you're out of, you're out of thinking about you, the little self. You're in the space where you feel connected to everything. Mystics have had those experiences where they've connected with God and everything. People that have, you know, I think there's a hundred thousand out of body experiences every year, just in the United States. Right. So people are experiencing this and we're now uh, at a point where we're being able to language it in a way where everyone can understand that this isn't mm -hmm. some, uh, ability that's uh, some have and some don't it's it's really as an uh, as karina is saying it's raising our awareness as we raise awareness we raise frequency as we raise frequency we raise consciousness we expand consciousness and we start to connect in a in a much greater way uh she listen karina's got this beautiful book out i want you to know about it and we're going to talk about that as soon as I come back from the break. Whether because of discomfort, lack of mobility, your lifestyle, or occupation, you sit inactively way too many hours a day. Introducing Ellipse, the premium quality automatic seated exerciser that strengthens legs, increases mobility, and boosts circulation without physical strain or impact. It is so quiet that none of my coworkers even know I'm using it. Strengthen and tone your legs. Increase your mobility, flexibility, and balance. Plus, stimulate healthy circulation. My joints feel 
better, my knees feel better, my back feels better. It makes me feel stronger too. Perfect for home therapy. Whisper quiet to use while you work. My circulation is moving, I'm burning calories, and it makes me feel energetic. Call now and order Ellipse, the seated exerciser that strengthens legs, increases mobility, and boosts circulation. Call and get upgraded to the Deluxe Bundle. Get the faster motor for five miles of steps per hour, the step counter, the sport mat, and wireless remote. Call now. Imagine this is your money and someone wants to take it from you. Who is it? The IRS. Guess what? They want your money and they can take it, all of it if they want. Remember, they sent you that letter right over here that said, hey, you owe us a bunch of cash and we're going to take it from you right now. So what do you do? You fight back by letting our team of experts work it out with the IRS so you can keep your money. And hey, we're good at what we do. When you hire us, you get a team of guys on your side that know the IRS laws and will fight really hard to save your money. So if you owe the IRS a ton of cash and you want to keep it, call right now and learn for free how we can help you put it back in your pocket. Five minutes of your time right now can save you thousands of dollars. And the best part, it's a free call. So please call right now. Hi everyone watching at home. We're here to remind you that if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, listen up. We have live agents available right now to answer your questions and tell you how much your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Gina Belich here with spokesman and TV personality Tom Mustin with us in the Help Center. So Tom, phones are really busy over there. Tell us what kind of calls you're seeing. Well, Gina, first off, thank you for having me here in the call center with you. We always enjoy talking to the viewers and getting folks the compensation that they deserve. You know, we're seeing calls about all kinds of accidents, but the most common by far has been car accidents. So if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, give us a call right now. You'll speak with a live person Person. They'll answer any questions you have and tell you if you have a case and how much your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Tom. All right, folks at home, you heard it. Take advantage of this opportunity and call now. Hi, folks. Joe Namath here. Did you know that I wear hearing aids? I love my hearing aids, and I am here to help you get a deal on the same brand I wear. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get MD Hearing's revolutionary Neo hearing aids for just $297 a pair. The Neo is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. And you can get two Neo hearing aids with a 45-day risk-free trial, free shipping, and free lifetime US-based support for only $297. The Neo is nearly invisible with its tiny in-the-ear canal design. Call my friends at MD Hearing and get the over-the-counter hearing aids that I use for you. Call now and get not one, but two Neo hearing aids for just $297. 800-789-7885. Again, that's 800-789-7885. Well, welcome back, everybody. This is your host, Ken D. Foster. I'm just talking with Karina Marshall. I have a question for all of you out there. Would you like to discover your superpower? Ah, well, that's our, our next segment here. We're going to be talking uh, just about that. And Karina, she has a beautiful book out, Discover and Use Your Greatest Superpower. Karina, what inspired you to write this? Well, as uh, I mentioned a little earlier, during the pandemic lockdown, uh, I had not intended at all to write a book or, or anything of that sort, but this just for, sort of came out of me. And I started uh, typing and uh, writing down some contents. And, and also, I thought about my daughter. I said, well, if I leave this planet like tomorrow, what would I like her to know? And I said, and this came out that uh, the things that I have been practicing through the ups and downs of life on what I felt was my secret to creating heaven and earth. And, and I, I wrote this book and uh, I felt like I could share this with some people and it could be an opportunity to meet with other soul friends that I'm still supposed to meet in this lifetime. So it became like a really fun game uh, in writing it. 
Well, here we are. You're meeting your soul friend, and um, I'm. There you are. <laughs> and uh, so, its intention is uh, once again proving that we're all connected. Um, what if, if, when somebody reads this book, um, what are they going to walk away with? Um, good question. Um, first of all, I inter- I have a section there that. Um, first of all, I have an introduction. The dedication is to the reader for their courage in exploring their inner world. I feel that that's really such a gift uh, when they give that to themselves. Uh, And the other things that they would learn is what I mentioned earlier, that there is really two of every person, the non-physical version and the physical version that are coexisting at the same time. I talk about the consciousness, my definition, my own definition of consciousness, and how understanding uh, that definition will allow the mind to bridge the gap between vibrational living and our our regular way of living. Uh, And then I talk about the, the 16 metaphysical tools that I share uh, or, and I created that I have been um, using in my life that has allowed me to shift my perspective when I'm confronted with something that I don't necessarily love. Wow, I really I want to take so, a deep dive into that because that's really, I think a lot of people are listening to that. But before I do, um, where, where can people get uh, Discover and Use Your Greatest Superpower by Karina Marshall? <laughs> It's uh, it's available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble, and um, okay, yeah, uh, okay. And is there a website uh, that people can see you too? Yes, the website is unlimitedus.us. So it's really unlimitedus.us because we're all connected. Oh, I love that Unli- unlimitedus.us. Unlimitedus.us. That's very good. All right, those tools are really important, I know, to some of the listening audience right now. You know, it's, um, all right, so you did your meditation, and uh, you know, did some affirmations. Maybe you did a guided meditation, and you're feeling good. You're connected to the, as Karina would say, to your other dimensional self, and now you're feeling good. Now you walk out of your room, and someone confronts you and says, hey, I don't like the way you're doing this or that. How do you hold that vibration? Well, at that point, I talk about that in the book, you engage your witness consciousness. And that's the witness consciousness is your non-physical self observing you in that situation and, uh, and seeing how you would react knowing that that person also has a non-physical version uh, that's probably not operating as in sync with the one that's confronting you. So it's a very interesting thought process that because you're thinking more expandedly, you'll, you'll have a way of looking at it without reacting negatively as well, but in a way that's, um, that's probably more, um, more approachable uh, for each one that's involved. Karina, how do we describe the non-physical self? I, I think sometimes people you know, need kind of a vision or a, uh, do they draw out what their non-physical self looks like? Do they write out the qualities what how do we how do we describe our non-physical self wow what a beautiful question <laughs> i've never been asked that i love that question and what i enjoy about this podcast is when there's a question and answer it's a portal for expansion and understanding so uh, thank you for asking so i guess uh we're so used with our senses that if there's a non-physical self it has to have an image right has to have a name or something. That's perfectly fine. But my own definition of my non-physical self is uh, it has no image, but if I choose to make it look like an angel with wings, okay. (laughs) Uh, But it's really, um, it's like my non-physical self has no uh, limitation of time, form, or space. So it could be everywhere. But what defines it is that frequency is very much Uh, rooted into love. Mm. And uh, if I can connect with that frequency and say, oh, I'm facing this very challenging physical situation and I'm going to put the hat of source or the hat of my higher higher self 
then how would I react or how would I look at this situation right now? So there's no particular image or form because, in fact, it's it's um, it's everywhere. <laughs> uh, it's. Well, you know, I, I used to um, I used to I hadn't thought about it till right now, which I was uh, just all of a sudden flashing on that. But um, uh, there's no beginning and no ending to the uh, uh, the uh, non physical self. There's no beginning, no ending, like uh, Karina said. You know, there's no time, space. Yeah. There's no matter. <clears throat> so that non physical being can uh, it, it can trans can uh, travel instantly. I know I was just traveling to the moon and and really being there, seeing all the craters mm -hmm. and you know whatever, and and then come right back right yes. in, in an instant. We could do that. Um, but here's the key: is that um, it's a new concept to a lot of folks, and it does take uh, intention, and it does take. Um, uh, well, in this case, we're in the three-dimensional zone. So it takes time and energy and, and intention to to really start to be with that non-physical self. And I love what you said earlier. The meditation is a great place to start to really be in that in that expanded state, right? Yes. Yeah. Any other thoughts you have around that? How, how can we start to really practice being with the non-physical? Besides, you did gave the witness consciousness. I love that. So stepping back, being a witness of your life, being a witness of the dream. Any any other thoughts that come to well, mind? To, to me, the greatest portal for uh, shifting focus and allowing the energy to come in uh, is through practicing the energy of mm. appreciation. Uh, it may not be the appreciation may not be in the same context as let's say if you're in a traffic traffic situation and somebody cuts in front of you and you really got so fearful that you might you know you might have an accident and you start cursing that person which is a very you know usual thing i think these days in la <laughs> um well uh, there's a there's a you can actually uh shift your mind reframe the situation say Oh my gosh, I appreciate the fact that I wasn't, I didn't get into an accident and I hope he gets to where he needs to go or, or something of that. Sure. Even if you have to make that story in your mind, uh, it really softens the egoic reaction to any yeah. challenging situation. So the energy of appreciation is really an energy that moves, uh, the, uh, the frequency of love, um, in any situation. I love that. And I, I'd like to say introspection is another <clears throat> way that we can do that. And uh, whether it's in the mm -hmm. moment, as Karina just suggested, or even at the end of the day, asking ourselves what worked today, what didn't work, and what, what we can improve ourselves tomorrow. I think if we bring that piece into the uh, non-physical self, we might even ask, um, at how long was I able to stay in the non-physical self in my higher states of consciousness today? How did I flip down into, into lower states? And, you know, I, I think we can do some introspection around this. Uh, that's so true, uh, Ken. And also I would like to add that in uh, defining appreciation, appreciation is like a magic formula because it does not require change. It's just an expression of something that you really resonate with as appreciating at the moment. There's no requirement. Yeah. What's the them. difference between appreciation and gratitude? I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it a, a couple minutes ago. I was, well, yeah, some here people, we go. yeah, some people interchange that. But to me, uh, since I approach a lot of things vibrationally, the, the vibration of gratitude is one where it, it's more polarized. So you mm -hmm. feel grateful for something because the 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 negative result did not happen while mm -hmm. in appreciation it's just really being in the moment and uh expressing your positive feelings about how you feel for um, an object a situation or an event so there's a, a fine line but uh, yeah. the other is polarized the other is pure yeah i love that I think with appreciation, I put my hand on my heart. I feel, I feel the love 
And I, I go into appreciation. I think that's a good way to practice that. I've got to take a, uh, a break. We'll be right back. And um, when we do, I want to take a, a deeper dive into some of the practices that you can do to stay in a higher state of consciousness, no matter what's happening outside. All right, we'll be right back. Are you ready to transform your life and get what you really want? Hi, this is Ken D. Foster, and over the past 30 years, I've helped thousands of people change the course of their lives by doing one special thing daily. This is the foundation of my latest book, The Courage to Change Everything. It is the ultimate guide to awakening the transformative power within you to get what you want. In this book, I'll teach you exactly how to unlock your hidden potential, break through your limitations, and get what you want, no matter what's happening in the economy or things beyond your control. So why wait? Get your copy of The Courage to Change Everything right now at CourageToChange.us. That's CourageToChange.us. There's no risk to you if you're not fully satisfied that this book has supported you in getting what you want just to return it for a full refund. Are you ready to take charge of your health and well-being? UK Health Radio is your ultimate digital destination for cutting-edge health information and inspiration. At UK Health Radio, we know that good health is not merely the absence of disease, but a state of complete physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Tune in to our wide range of expert-led shows where renowned health professionals share about the latest research, practical tips, and inspiring stories that will motivate you to live your healthiest life. Don't settle for anything less than vibrant health. Tune in to UKHealthRadio.com, the world's number one talk health radio and podcast platform. We have enough information. Just Google it or AI it. What the world needs today is courage and wisdom. The courageous ones have moved us forward. These are the fearless, the ones with determination, the resilient ones. They have grit and rise to meet the challenges and opportunities. They encourage, empower, and enlighten us to all glow up, shift our thinking, and step into our greatness. Yes, these are the ones who have led the way. Now, listen to the courageous ones of today and step into your courage. Welcome back, everybody. I'm talking to author Karina Marshall, and um, her husband, Craig Marshall, and I have known each other for many years. Craig was a monk for 35 years. And um, um, so make sure to say hi to Craig when we do. We're talking right now about vibrational living, living from a place of higher consciousness. And I was going to ask you another tool that one might have to be able to live in in that higher state, no matter what's going on in the world. Well, one of them, um, believe it or not, it's a metaphysical tool. Uh, it, one of the uh, tools that I mentioned in, in the book, and that, which I would like to share now, is something you might already be doing. And it's having this, uh, it's like a memory treasures technique. Uh, if you have your iPhones or um, your cell phones, you could have your library of photographs and create an album that makes you feel good. Um, reminds you uh, of something you didn't think you, you could do, but you did it. Or you look, it reminds you of people you love, your family or your friends or events. And it's basically the criteria is um, something that makes you feel good when you look at it. Um, I remember one time that I was, um, I was searching for uh, researching a, a particular data and somehow my iPhone uh, popped in this uh, this video of my photographs that it automatically put together. And I was just transported with the background music and the pictures that were showing. And I felt really good. So that's one way of metaphysically aligning to yourself. And it's a simple tool. 
And some of you might already be doing that, but uh, it always works. Um, another way that um, that you you could use is that um, is what I call shine the light technique, and we can talk about that later on uh, if you like. Uh, and it's related to particular challenges that you might be experiencing. No, I, I like I like to hear that right now, but I want to make sure we got the right website going on on the uh, on the stream there. Unlimited self dot us. Unlimited self dot us. Is that correct, Karina? And yes, that's right. We are unlimited, all of us. <laughs> we are unlimited, and I love that. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about. It. We got we got a few more minutes, so we got about three more minutes. Why don't we talk about that? Go ahead. Okay, just quickly. Um, the shine the light technique is uh, is a technique where uh, you can metaphysically potentially change the outcome of a situation, and this is for you to try it out. Um, and if you're, for example, in a meeting at work. Um, and um, things are not going well with the discussions and uh, one person is being very aggressive and controversial with his issues while the other one is starting to feel bad as well and everybody's sort of like negatively, I mean, the negative energy is increasing. Uh, you could imagine uh, metaphysically that you are shining the light in the, to these people. Uh, it, you could even have a little fun and say, um, I'm going to throw a cold bucket of water to each one of them and imagine <laughs> their reaction when they wake up. Um, it, it, you could, your, your imagination can do wonders uh, in shining the light on the situation and just watch what happens. It's quite effective. I love, I love that. Yeah, using the imagined the imagination bringing in that uh, the energy, the frequency of love in a great way. And sometimes it's tough love, a little bucket of water. I like that. And sometimes it's, uh, you know, we just hold that frequency, that vibration that the, this energy can shift. And sometimes the energy doesn't shift the way we want it. We can always get up and walk out of the room um, in a very kind, loving way. There, there are ways to do this. That uh, that we can really start practicing living from higher levels of uh, frequency and vibration. I I think the you know we've been talking a lot about the inner environment today, and that's such a powerful piece. But also remember, your outer environment is reflecting your inner environment. So if you're walking around your home and you're going like, oh, I don't necessarily like this anymore. I've outgrown this picture. This doesn't feel right. Notice that. Notice that also. This is both inner and outer. Uh, when we start to transition, everything changes. I know when Judy and I got together, we had a lot of different objects from, you know, I lived in one place, she lived in another. And I didn't necessarily like all her things. She didn't like all my things. So we went, you know what? That's okay. Over time, let's just bring in things we both love. Let's just bring in everything we both love. And we did that over time. And when you walk into our home, you'll feel that energy. I'll bet you I do the same thing at uh, uh, at uh, Karina and, and uh, Craig's uh, you know, home too. So, well, well, yeah, I love that. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. So, Karina, um, thank you so much for being here today. Final thoughts for our our guest. What what would you like their audience to know at this point in time? Thank you, Ken. This has been really wonderful. Uh, we discussed a number of things in this delightful conversation. Um, and if some of your audience feel it's a bit too much over their heads, I have a simple starter to catalyze or ignite your inner being and allow your connection with your true self, starting uh, to so that it will start to flow into your everyday life. And that is really practicing the energy of appreciation. Try it. Just appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. Uh, it could be as simple as, oh, I have a really wonderful cup of coffee this morning. Uh, and, 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 and just watch how your life begins to be so amazing uh, and, and practice that energy of appreciation. It's the secret start. <laughs> I love that. Okay, here's my challenge for my audience. Next seven days. See how many people, yeah, make a game out of it. See how many times you can go into appreciation over the next seven days. Maybe you start out, uh, you know, with five the first day. Maybe you end up with 20 the last day. I don't know. But that's my challenge for you. I hope you'll take it up. Also, I hope you'll go to unlimitedself.us, unlimitedself.us. Okay. 
thought us to be able to find uh, Karina's uh, work over there. And of course, I want to all let all of you know that it's a beautiful book and uh, discover and use your greatest superpower by Karina Marshall. Go get that book. It's an amazing book. It'll help you to increase uh, the ability to live from higher levels of consciousness. Karina, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Ken, that was really nice. Thank you so much. Thank all of you for being here today, too. Until next time, I pray that you continue to see the unseeable, know the unknowable, and do the impossible. Take care.